cover me while I shoot these with my laser eyes, because I'm not actually doing anything. Oh look, I don't know where the last one is. Isn't that dandy? No, I'm not going to command my squad to take cover. I'm going to look for the last damn bomb. Hey look, a Geth sniper. Hey look, a dead Geth. Oh, it's right over here. I am stupid. But we already established that. Considering you're here. Anyway, I'm gonna do this last thing so I don't get bad points. There we go. Alright, cool music plays. Because you did it. Cool. Husk! Husk! <laughs> Caden! You, use that thing! Don't let the husk explode! It exploded! Thanks for doing your job, Ashley. God forbid you do what I asked you to do. Jesus, Ashley. No things! Shoot them. I am like a sniper with my pistol. Okay, except for that time, I missed a lot, but, uh, most times, hey look, this is a stick that's shooting out, wait, there's a crate, there's a crate back up there, that I forgot to open, sorry guys, I have to wait to, uh, interact with the glowing stick, I'm gonna have to get this crate first, it's more important, alright, new, new sniper rifle, medium armor, medium armor for Turian, which I don't exactly have yet, but, I'm going to get one in the form of uh, somebody with a name. Hey look, I got toxic seals. Cool, scratching my ear again. Okay, somebody, you, you have sniper rifle training. Um, here, take a, take a good sniper rifle. And... Okay, never mind, you're not getting that. Um, oh, that's right, I got ant. I got this stuff. It's both medium, so I can't use it. Great. Also, Turians get some good armor. Humans get really shit armor. But, I don't think you can change your species until number three, maybe. I don't know. I don't think you can actually change it at all, but there is a possibility that can be done. And... I got a new thing. Okay, let's put that on uh, Caden because I don't think he has anything. Oh, yes he does. You. Okay, um... Caden, you're getting a new thing. Actually, no. I'm just gonna leave that. Okay, we're leaving. For reals this time, guys. You put the guns away. Really, we don't need them. Actually, I'm gonna... I'm gonna look around a little bit, because I don't think you get to do anything after that happens. I think you just black out and like that. Crate. Crate, 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 crate. Loot crate. Sponsored by Loot Crate. I like a shuriken. Shuriken? A shotgun at hurricane. An assault rifle. Heavy armor. Great. I think the only person that can use that is Ashley later. Yes. Um... Storage locker. Easy decryption. I can do it. Ow. No, no, no. Go. 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 It's like Frogger. Yes. Did it. New pistol. New assault rifle. Pretty sure I've already gotten both of those, but I get some XP and I get a grenade for it. So, all is well. All is well that ends well. And we're going to run over here to get this box because I don't think you can do it after. <laughs> Easy description in the storage locker. Easy is right, cause I'm so good. Okay, okay, we're gonna need it. Go! Crap. Oh, let's try that again. Um. Wait for it. Wait for it. That's. Quality. Quality. I'm the best at about nothing. Uh, anyway, I got 
him and oh finally we get an actual weapon upgrade instead of an ammo upgrade Ugh, please let's get that heat sink plus 12 heat absorption which means it'll overheat slower I think you have hammerhead rounds right well guess what exactly you're welcome I thought, I thought I got hammerhead rounds too, but it was just one and I misread it, so. That's, that's a thing that happened. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're all good, unless there's more stuff over there, but, eh, I'm sure it's nothing. Too great. Let's investigate, and I'll shut up, because there's a cutscene. Normandy. The beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. No! No, no, Ashley is being sucked into a vortex of doom. My phone needs to stop going off like that, truly. Really. I'm gonna put it on silent. Shepard! No, don't touch him! It's too dangerous! I thought it was on silent, but I apparently forgot to do that, so. It's definitely on silent now. Look, it's Saren. Being Saren. We identified and the by that I mean being a fucking asshole. The I haven't cursed that much. This, this session at all. So, that's pretty good. To save the and the um, One of I the guess. May have used it. Oh, Saren's angry! These things are crawling red! Ah, I'm throwing things, I'm angry! screen. Hey, look. We wake back up in... Doctor. Doctor no. Chakwas. I think he's waking oh, up. No. Never mind. It's the Normandy. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Uh, oh, okay. Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Damn, that's Something a long time. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. It's all right. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if oh, she was okay with that because she didn't we'll get angry. Get a chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. Thank you. I appreciate it. Physically, you're Is that... fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. That was a sound. Waves. I also it, what... noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Oh, that was the sign of me getting up, apparently. Dreaming. I was dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to Except my Except for report. glass, that's pretty clear. Oh, Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Yeah, Glad yeah, to hear. Yeah, Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Oh, yeah, I'm, I feel bad about Jenkins. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. 
Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. <laughs> I could say that again if I want. I'm pissed off about the cat. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. Why is Williams here? Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Good. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant She's actually agrees is with pretty you. good. That's why I added her to our crew. Okay, you wanted you to talk. You needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. The council's going to want answers. To hell with them! The council can kiss my ass. I won't let them blame me for losing the beacon. I didn't do anything wrong. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. Thank you, Anderson. It's Saren. That other Turian. Saren's a specter. One of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. No shit, Sherlock. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. He, he didn't come to Eden can. Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the Gith. I don't know how. I don't know why. But it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Um, a vision. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? A warning. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. Yeah, okay. What are we going to tell him? That's fine. I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. Not if I can fucking help I'll find it. some way to take him down. That's it's right. not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the council on our side. Okay, I guess. We prove Saren's gone mm. rogue, and the council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council. <laughs> He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Okay. Uh, I won't exactly be doing that currently. I'm gonna explore the ship a little bit because it's been a while since I played this game. Hence the tutorials being on. But I am going to go and talk to the two people that I have. Which is Ashley and Hey Commander. Hi. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Okay. Okay. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. You will be missed. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're, in it. you're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. How are you doing? Things were pretty rough Hi, how are you? Are you okay? Nice weather we're having today, in space. I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out... Yeah, it's fucked up. You never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. It's okay, you couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. Well, I cut off, but I mean... I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. Yep, glad I to have you. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. See, I want to be nice to, like, all my crew and stuff, but council's fucking assholes. They can go kill themselves. I'm not kill yes, themselves. Commander? They can fuck themselves. Is there something you need? Hello. Personal questions. Caden. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission, but he has an impressive service record. 
Over a dozen special commendations. That's nice. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. An L2? What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. Can't you just, like, you know, change it out? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. Well, then. A long list of horrific side effects. Hayden's lucky. He just gets migraines. And it's pronounced Caden, apparently. Um, what about what Captain, you know about Anderson? Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. That's nice. It's a personal question. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life mm -hmm. isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. And you ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. 